Yeah. Senate and early on in this particular group stage as well. So go, oh, okay. Pretty that's, much like the Doom. All right. I like that. I like that. If they, if they do the Alchemist uh, when he is farming the stacks, at the very least they're going to need relocate because LGD are going to jump heroes and they need that defensive counterplay. Bottom lane. Get the static storm off the Sunstruck. Is it going to hit? Boom. They get the job done from 80. Yang gets stunned up as well. They get off another beautiful magnetized will turn to. It's a double kill. They might continue to hit after DDC. Oh, they got him. This amp damage into Glyph combo is devastating. LGD. This tier two tower currently they'll drop an observer ward down deep towards that secret shop, but nothing else. It looks like for now, LGD seem to know DDC. something is up. They're going to back up though here. Except is going to roll away, and they don't get off that earth spike they in can, time. They might be able to get the glimpse off here as their dire vision. Got to be careful, DDC. They get vision. Just blinks in. He's going in. They get the sound off sun strike. It's going to miss, but barely. Still to relocate it, but they get the static from off the top. Except getting chewed down. Meanwhile, the magnetize on top. Omni size will go. Takes down two for LGD. Magnetize not bringing down the doom just yet. He's healing through with the scorched dirt. Oh, that Helium Ward plus the tether combo is really strong, but they do manage to snipe the Helium Ward. What a, an interesting relocate by FY. It was actually quite close to the battle, but just moved, relocated his buddy a little bit to the south. It ends up working out. They're not able to burst these heroes, but that's so somewhat aggressive. LGD is known for being disciplined and fighting as a team. Not looking good. Don't heed HYHY's advice this time, BGR. Get out of those trees. They know exactly where Andy is. They're going to jump right on top of them. The sun strike's not even needed. Great earth spike. Now the counter initiation from Yang. They get the doom off. They're coming in with the Alchemist. Moving on to MMY. They instantly bring down the Disruptor, but they blitz that Alchemist back out of the fight. So Io's left alone. Get the doom to it alone. Yang is quickly dealt with. Io makes it out. DDC, not so lucky, isn't brought back by the Io. FY not able to save his friend. Maybe yes. even forcing out a buyback, but the problem is just that there's too many towers still up that tier one mid. Unless you're fighting bottom lane to push directly in after getting a kill. And they say, let's kill this thing! But finally, they get it done. Man, it took forever. But here's the flank doom initiation not too aggressive. He's gonna get forced out. They'll keep him up rolling bolt away. LGD, they just want to get out. Good static storm to recover the retreat. They have a relocate forward. That's gonna play in. Gets up the Omni. It's a big one! He has to spray down as well. Here comes Dodo. They've got one. Two now. Aggressive will fall as the doom does stick him down. They get up the magnetize, but Seth is the last man behind for LGD. Sunstrike will come through, will not do anything for maybe, and LGD lose three in that initiation. Um, I think Butterfly's one of the big ones, but here comes the smoke. Before initiation, DD seems up here. It's like Anta at the same time. Doom comes out. Now he's in trouble. Omnislash comes through. Now the Inferno Blade aggressive. Pops the Enrage. He's still in trouble. He's got that Aegis. He's getting chased down, however, but nobody dead just yet for anybody. They're going to get the Sunstrike off in time. There's the Aegis finally going down. That's a lot to commit for the Slardar. They got to keep him under control. Or for the Earth, rather. Aggressive coming back in with the BKP. There's the Tornado. Maybe a rise. If you get up the third BC, Danny Reborn. Welcome to the main. TV show, no, no. FY in trouble too, he's gonna drop, no, no, next, that's about to be four, they get run over. I mean, he has, oh, he can oh, drop boy. another item for that Aegis as well, I wouldn't be surprised, shall we? Looking for blood right Maybe now, they have the a refresher coming in. They get the stun off onto FY, now coming through counter and engage, and Yang's gonna be jumping with the sensor conquer stop, great tornado, he's gonna hit onto two, unstable to cock, here comes Dodo, but Yang getting caught up, the magnetized static storm, definite class, is it enough? Yang's about to fall, finally will, they'll get FY on top. Oh, more damage. No, no. Waiting for the chemical rage to cool down the Omni Slash. Very ineffective. Ends get a blink and run. Out coming back in. He charges into five. The chemical rage. He didn't get it off. He didn't pop the armor. He finally does, but it's too late. LGD burst him down. They get the finger kill on Sep, and DDC might have to pay with his life for that. And his glimpse back coming through. They're going to have Shawex done. They tornado him up. The Sun Strike will be there. They're just going to clean up this line. Four dead. No buyback. He's going to get caught. They don't have any stun available as he blade Fury's out. He will make it with it. Now back towards the blade. Aggressive's going to get moved up as well. He's going to get the new rage. The static storm comes down. FY pops the ghost scepter. They catch out to the kinetic field. An earth spike hits the aggressive. Can they bring it down? The Omni slash on top. Aggressive gets forced toward the glimmer tape, but it's not enough. And they'll lose two. Shall we? Blinking in. He sees opportunity. Kaboom! The meatball! The deputy blast! They bring down the IO out for 60 and chase it forward. Doesn't catch DMP, pushes M back though. They force out the buyback, by the way. Bottom lane's moving in. As someone goes to defend that for VGR, which they likely will soon, LGD are gonna pounce on mid. Definitely flash, Dodo getting jumped on. He gets off the BKB, but look at the damage coming out from aggressive. He pops the mid to the chemical rage, the abyssal, one more rifle, he stays alive! Stays alive for the last second. There's gonna be the sun strike on Yang. Another deafening blast coming through. Another sun strike. Another meatball. Is it enough damage? LGD getting low. They're about to fall. They want to get out of here, but the force step comes in. There's the Shiva to the rescue. Looking for more. They only get the earth. They're aggressive flipping away. Maybe. Kill that bear. Maybe the bigger 
one, they force him down, out for a hundred. Doom had to buy back for that. Smoke comes, Travis, is the BKB on no-no. They're wrapping around, they have Kelly, the BKB comes in, they get off the overcharge as well as the ear spike, and now no-no gets blown up instantly. This static storm, Sunshine Strike, they get the nade ball down, he's down for 84, still no buyback. They find the tornado, they get the ice wall off as well, and end is in trouble. He gets off the Omni side, and here comes Yang. Good stomp there from Yang to follow up that Omni Slash, but it's just not enough. The Juggernaut had to blink out. Yang's gonna drop as well. LGD and straight on towards objectives. Creeps streaming in. LGD playing with a lot of extra life. Ace of cheese and three by Oh, they just blow up the IO. FY was there one moment, he's not there the next. Deleted. And with that, LGD will take this melee rack. I don't see VGR defending it. No, no, he had the Kevil Break in BKB now and coming through as he has an Omni Slash ready, but he's still silent up and aggressive. It's actually a little too in far. He has that Aegis down and definitely blast. An Omni Slash is coming through, but it's not enough. They will finger him down and he's now a they still have lost two on the side of BGR. Maybe just shrugs off the Omni Slash with the help of his team. He refreshes here, he rearms. He's gonna look for more. The Thug Strike goes splat! DDC explodes! Maybe coming through in the clutch, showing why his invoker is first stage band material aggressive. Still holds the ages. Maybe still sits in the back line. The two stars from China. They can't even bring him down once. The illusions will finally do the job. It takes forever. They purchase up another Agon Scepter. Noto says, I can, I have to do whatever I can in this corner. We're going to lose another set of racks to three down. And they now they no jump on. Shall we go into work? They're really They have another sun strike and hit, but he has very tanky meatball coming through. Now the death thing blasts on top. Noto will fall. Chemical Rage will not save him. He's dead for 108. That looks to be GG, David. LGD. I really don't think they had the better late game draft on paper if BGR itemized the play correctly, but maybe shows that his invoker might just be one of the hardest carries in Dota. Outplayed every second of the way. Even MOI with that glimpse to counter the relocate earlier. This was a tough one for BGR, and I think they're just going to be sitting back and saying if we just played a little bit better in the fights, we could have had it. LGD. Just played better. We were concerned about the late game coming out from LGD, but you said it, it may be played outstanding on the Invoker coming through and because aggressive plays an insane uh, ember yeah. as well. So they're so interchangeable. Point call on to three to four to even five years game is huge. But maybe going in, gets off the Hermit Searing Chains, flips back. There's the kinetic shield. They get off the rolling boulder this time it hits on the FY. Rabbit comes through it's on a two. And it's a double kill for Xiao Wei. Nicely done. Vision first and foremost. Sentry Ward, it looks like it's not there. And then why is gonna be last to leave the boulder smash coming through and it's not going in the head rabbit. Looking for it, they wrap around Ravage on to three. They go up the anchor smash as well. Static storm coming through, Yang low. Gets the call off, but will die in the end. No, no, trying to counter initiate against the sun. It's only on set with the acid spray. Not even enough for a single kill, a two for one. But Xiao Wei dropping low to this. Can they finish off that pesky tide on her? They can't, but they brought down three. And Xiao Wei may eventually fall. Glitz back, make it four if he can't do his way out of this one. Gets off the anchor smash, it's not enough. P2 drops, and on the far end of the fight, they did. Speaking of which, they're already headed again. Maybe he's out in front. They're looking for that Searing Chains to start things off. Blood of his first. Rolling Boulder is going to connect on Simple Concoction. They push him back, and he's got the Chemical Rage going. Good call, counter and she's denied it too. The Static Storm on top. Seven Crack to Barlow. Step will fall first still. It is a one for one trade. They get off the grave. And here comes that Lord, but look at the damage. Gets off the shadow, gets the calling play, comes through. They take down aggressive. Chasing for DDC. Maybe once a bit more aggressive on the Husker. Kills the from beyond the grave, but maybe cleans up the backlights this time. Winning fights with Huskar, that's just not happening. They even glimpsed that Huskar out of the picture. He's trying to keep you on mid. He's not in this fight. Now he has to use his mech right now. Still has the Ravage ready to go. They're chasing after him. They missed the slide of his searing chase, and end will make it out. And they take Brassy every ancient going in on the backside, but they can bring him down. He's on his own. Our splitter's coming through. Will it hit? It misses. They're still going to work. Pounds down the slide of his searing chase. He's hanging in trouble. They get the silence off into end as well, but he's already scattle bladed up. Oh, he wants to go for this. He's still in grave. And is running over LTD. Still has the ancient. What a double. He wants more. He's going to run back in. Sep has to rolling boulder away. MMY is going to get chased down. The pound doesn't hit. But the Echo Saber slow. He's going to have to grab himself. They don't have Yang to calling play. 38 down. the chip stack spot. He's got 40 almost here. He's diving them to the tier three. He's going to Somebody in. stop this man. The rolling boulder only saves Sep at the No defusal blade in sight. This will be proved to be a big news since he's Duncan FY. Right under the tier three tower. Shall we walk in? The gust will come through. There's the Earth Splitter. They have Grave ready to go. The Earth Splitter will hit. He's going to get low, but he's got the Aegis. Not back in third. And they do get the kill with the Burning Spears on top. FY will fall. And looking to engage as well. Now another life break. And he's going to have to go further into the base. He's so low, now the Ravage whipping again from Shelly. 
This time not hitting it, maybe not expecting the act. The Graver is back on the aggressive. They should move that pass. That's that is short. Well. They stress to get the Grave off. He still has the Aegis, by the way. So even if he dies, if he gets up enough damage, it's more than worth it. He will finally go down. First life gone. Now jumping in his baby. He's got the real damage here. No, no getting low. The Chemical Rage isn't going to be enough. Boy, shall we? You sure wrote an exciting script with the two Ravages. What a call! Keeping it interesting. But Huskar dunking them down in the front line. Moving on to edge. All of a sudden, that Superstar Clark is looking rather easily dealt with. LGD. Just they might need to be careful here. Now they haven't got racks yet. They right. haven't forced buybacks. It's not totally catastrophic for BGR, but losing no no again. That could be the difference they can force that back. back. Spears going down, but he's got chemical rage. Look at this spin. Yang gets one. He might get two. The tower will finish him off. Ember trying to clean them up. He can't do it. LGD. They have been denied an out DDC. He's gonna look for the glimpse around the tree. Good ward, looks back, they get it! He actually made it out, but the glimpse brings them back in. MMY getting a taste of his own medicine at DDC. Out up in a minute here, but going here's in. the Shadow Blade Silver Edge, and they're gonna find a fight. Link Ravage on to two, not the best start, but now the call. Yang has to pop the BKB, gets the call up in the end. He might actually be in trouble keeping out. Working on aggressive here. He needs help, but then Mawai has the grave. Holding on to it, holding on to it. There's no X top just yet. Looking for it. They can't quite find it. Aggressive stays alive, but Engine's turned back with Kelly. He's gonna kill up the side under instead. There's the Yule Scepter now, and looking for the kinetic field is down. Unstable concoction goes. See you later. No grave this time. MMY can not save him, he can't save himself. And the glimpse they find, MMY2, TP out. No, says no, no. You're coming right back. It's four Maybe down with BGR truly looking reborn here. Might, actually, they have three four staff. Might have been FY. Uh, as the Axe's four staff is more recent uh, cooldown. But regardless, they didn't, weren't able to follow up. They are down the front BKB. They're going to go anyway. They're going to jump right in on that tier three tower. The Yules will come out again from Aggressive. They get the Static Storm on top of it. Again, it's an Aghanim Static Storm. So it's going to do a decent amount of damage. But Aggressive will be able to just tank through it. Now it comes through Ravage. That will hit. On to four. Can they get the damage done? Aggressive gets the grip up as well. But still no follow up coming out from Navy or anyone for that matter. Give me a chop. Says, yeah, and he gets one. Looking to end this game the way he's carried it. Dunking here. Yes. All over the place. There's a buyback on the uh, Huskar though. Re-engaging. He's gonna look for jumping. Actually gets glimpsed back to the well. He TP'd in. That's why he used the Aegis earlier and just finessing his way through the LGD rank. Increasing the gold lead of two hero stops and jumping in onto aggressive there. Is the follow-up? They just don't want to risk it. They're trying to carefully seed this one. They know they have the racks advantage. They know they still have an even scarier late game. Only buyback right now for LGD is maybe if they kill aggressive, and, they'll be in a great spot. And there's no for ravage. I think they can force it here, Travis. And is in the base right now. There's sentries down, but look at Noto going right in the uncivil concoction. They have the great ready to go with the call, and they should get the top through again. It's on cooldown, but still, I don't know if aggressive makes it out of here. He ducks his way in. He heads home crying. Down for 90. BGR clawing their way back Radiant in his test of three. They are proving to be quite Radiant the test for LGD. Looks like they might be able to get the tower now. Yeah, Tide respawns, no Ravage for 75. It's an 80 second power play. Basically 3v5 without the Ravage. I don't see LGD stopping them any longer. And No No just walks right in. He's gonna be aggressive enough Radiant to make sure they get this melee rack as well as range down. It's going to be Megas here if they can get both range in the mid lane, which is super low, and then down bottom as well. They should be able to get Megas here, and they have no way of getting aggressive back up for 58 seconds. Maybe he can slide and fish all he wants, but I don't know if that's going to be enough damage. Uh, he buys the Rapier. All right, even if he gets the Rapier, though, you're up against Megas. You're up against Vivex. You're up against a 35,000 gold deficit. And end is not done. He is looking for the well. They just GG out. They buy the Rapier, and they say, we can't do anything. And they lay down their sword. They put it back in the stone. BGR. What a resilient team. After the way they lost game one, where it looked like it should have been theirs down the stretch to bounce back against a veteran squad like LGD. Yes, there were mistakes. Xiao8 certainly going to be the one that gets flagged the most for them by a lot of the viewers at home, but BGR also punished that exceptionally hard. I mean, we could talk about heroes down here. The only hero top lane so far is the Slark, and he might be getting jumped on. Telekinesis, they have the Rocket Barrage, but he just uses the Death Rock. They want to change. They get up the Timber Chain. There's the Chakram, and FY should fall here. They also have a Glimpse up. Ends in trouble in the trees. Is he going to be able to juke his way out? He heads all the way, but the Glimpse finds him. He can just TP. No, he's actually going to get silenced up. The Chakram coming through, and he is in trouble. He'll fall instantly. Oh my, they are just diving under the tower.
They're they're pressing way too hard. There's high. a TP rotation. There's two of them now. The Gloom Second they found Nono. The Static Storm on top of them. They, the Malice is off the trick. The trade coming through. Sure, this could call them, but aggressive is going to move by FY. They've got one. They've got two. They might even get more. Chasing forward, maybe. Is he going to find Yang here? It's the shock from cooling down. Even the creeps are hating on BGR. Key combo, and if you sit back to try to push, LGD are going to counter initiate FY. Oh, yeah, he's been scouted out. Dust will go. He'll try to get into the sideline. He's going to be able to get that. Wow, what a blink strike, but he gave the looks back at the end, I think, coming through. They're going to break out into a real fight here. Call that comes on top. It's a pretty good one. They're trying to sandwich Seth, but he's uh, in biz right now. They can't focus him down. Now wait. Still holding that black hole the whole while. Doesn't seem like they actually needed to take the oh, fight. Oh, good arm like Taka, but no, no. It will fall the second time around. Brute Force moving on to end as well. LGD finding their footing here. They have a pretty damn big lead. Even just slowly working heroes down. They try to chase for more, and again it's the glyph. They're gonna find the pounce this time, and will get smoke screened up, and he will fall. They have yet to get a single kill in this game, and they lose three, and they're not done yet. Yeah, he's gonna get chased down. He will have to TP away. Is there a glyph? Five seconds. On cooldown, DDT getting out in time. He Two almost seconds. goes down in the well. Nice play. He makes the play. counter play to turn this around. Seth's gonna play in. There's dust here. If he dodges the cloud, he might be able to kill him off. He's gonna throw up the shock room. Not enough. From VTR, they, they they can't be in a position. And look at FY walking out. He's gonna throw the shock room. Dust people will go, but he's in trouble. He's about to get blown up by the shock room himself. And they'll find two. Both supports down. And, and they get the clips back. Oh, clean power take is in the offing here for LGD. They want to end as well. It's a perfect call down, but perfect isn't good enough as LGD are just far too tanky. Run him over. They're actually smoked up now, and they actually said it aggressive. He's gonna get away silver. DDC dies in three. Itchy Dark packs off the roar. Oh, no, Yang is in trouble now. He's got the smoke three chakra blowing. Get to see you later. FY, no big spell steal so far this game. He needs more static storm getting dropped as well. It's just for end. He will meet his own. And now Xiao Wei moving in on the FY. Might even commit the black hole just so he can at least get to use this game. Maybe a blink on MMY. I don't think there's too much they need, though. Here comes the smoke. This, can is, they get something this could done with be this? the final moment for VGR here at the Manila Major. They can maybe find a kill on Sep. He's been scouted out. He blinks away. He gets out in time. He scouts the smoke, but he's still getting chilled down. But the rest of LGD is coming in, and Sep is looking to actually set this up. They're reading them like a book, Ma. Now they're moving in. It's going to be a black hole. No, he gets Dragon Tail. Now he can't get it off. He's actually in trouble getting low. It looks Freeze. like he might fall. Freeze will keep him alive. Meanwhile, DDC has to keep you away. There's a static storm, though. And all of that just for an enigma who didn't even catch Black Hole. Gets nothing to the Rubik. And now they're looking for the glitch deck. They find no, no. Aggressive, very healthy. Chunking down the Dragon Knight. They'll slay him. That's two. Not the worst fight for BGR. Two for one is. It's coming, perhaps. BGR might be put out for suffering. Maybe starts it off. Wow, that Dazzle died instantly. Shiva's guard on top of the Whirling Death and Shock is more than enough damage to come through. He blinks in. Now they're going to go to work. No, no, is here on the sidelines, just going in on his own. He gets down. Somebody doesn't have a BKB. He falls, and that's it. They just GG out. Black oh, come on, Shiva. Where's the Black Hole? Shiva, Shiva. No, he's not using the Black Hole. No, yeah, he did it. Black Hole gang at the end of the game. Oh, and FY steals it. FY getting up the Black Hole just at the end, just to show he All has right. some spirit left. He gave the people what they wanted. LGD, favorites coming in. This is not how I thought they would win, Mod, but good teams find a way regardless. That's what I'll do. Yeah, there goes the Aegis, but still, they do have the Glimpse back. DJ gonna be pulled back into play as Mike is going to be able to finish off the cover man. Now pops open with the Magnus into the Meteor Blast, and that's for the Pop Turo. He just taken out the cover man, trying to challenge, but he's gonna get caught to the parallel.